everybody. This is a uh, new thoughts on whatever. Um, today we're gonna talk about the Curse of Chucky, yes. which is the latest in the Child's Play franchise, taking place sometime after Seed of Chucky, obviously, but it continues the events of the original Child's Play. Now, a long time ago in 1988, uh, Charles Lee Ray developed sort of a weird crush on a pregnant woman, ended up kidnapping her. Uh, stabbing her in the stomach, causing that baby to become a paraplegic. And which actually explains why he was running away from the police in the first movie. Yeah. That's a, the, because that they, they found his hideout where he had uh, kept her locked up and whatever. And so they were chasing him. He transfers his soul into the doll. Franchise starts. Well, I thought that was a really good, like... It is. It is a, actually a really good explanation. Yeah. But, uh... And then flash forward to 2013, where the para paraplegic woman, Nika, uh, receives a package in the mail, and inside the, inside the box is the Chucky doll. Yeah, but, like, reformed, meaning they just put more wax on his scars from the Brian Seed. Yeah, he covered up all of his stitches and all that. Which, so. soon, which were soon revealed by... Whoever the one the chick. dark hair chick? Yeah. Barb. Yeah. Yeah, he like tore off it. But that's later. Anyway. Well, immediately, as soon as Chucky enters the the playing field, uh, stuff already starts happening. Yeah, shit starts happening like not even ten minutes into the movie. Like, within the first ten minutes, the paraplegic's mom dies. I forget the mom's name. I think it was Sarah. But yeah, Nika's mom gets killed by Chucky. And then sometime afterward, Nika invites uh, some friends over to just, you know, hang out with her because and I, she doesn't want... Loss. Mourn the loss. And, and, I mean, obviously she doesn't want to be in that fucking creepy-ass fucking house all alone. Yeah. And with, with no legs. Yeah. I mean, she has legs, she can't use them. So... Yeah, and she <laughs> stayed there, and, Chuck, and, and if Chucky was still there, that movie would be, like done before even the half hour. Yeah, that would be like, that would be a short film <laughs> that you'd yeah. see at a film festival up in Toronto or whatever. But, so yeah, she invites a bunch of people over, a priest, uh, I guess, weren't they like childhood friends or something? One of them's a nanny, her daughter, or, yeah, her friend's daughter, husband, and sister. the nanny. The black hair chick was the, was the, was, was the, Nika's sister, yeah, yeah. Barb is Nika's sister. Then there was Jill, Ian, and then the priest, and the little girl, Alice. Now, Alice grows attached to the Chucky doll, and as soon as you know, a kid starts playing with a creepy fucking doll, shit's gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> and it does. Uh, Chucky poisons the priest's... What was it? Chili? Yeah. Yeah, it's vegetarian, vegetarian chili. chili. Yeah, he uh, laces it with rat poison, Yeah, and, and the priest eventually dies via a car accident. Yeah. After passing out at the wheel, because obviously rat poison, you put, you're done. <laughs> yeah. So later, it's revealed that Jill and Barb are, are having an affair. Yeah. So they go to video call each other, even though they're in the same house while Ian's asleep. I don't understand why. Why? Okay. Why would you? Why would you video call someone when you're in the same house as them? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Oh, no. But anyway, so they start video calling each other or whatever, and um. And already Barb starts seeing Chucky moving everything, and she's trying to warn. She's uh, trying. She's trying to warn Jill. That hey, Chucky is alive, and she's. Or no, because Barb originally thought it was yeah. Alice, the little girl moving around. Oh yeah. And then um, Chucky electrocutes Jill, and, and she dies. One thing I don't really understand causes... about that scene. Why does it go up to her left or right eye? Why does it cross her right it's a, eye? It's electrocution, Jacob. It does whatever. Mm. Who cares? Yeah. It's a fucking... <laughs> it's a death. Movie. Yeah. Anyway, so... Yeah, Chucky goes all slasher mode and starts killing off everybody one by one. He kills Jill yeah. via electrocution. Kills Barb by gouging out her eye and throwing her down a staircase. Um, he kills... He kills Ian eventually, but that's not until after Ian thinks Nika killed everybody. 
It yeah. gets really confusing, and I don't want to make this a vi super long video of just me telling you what the movie is about. But the basic premise, obviously, after... Everything basically happens in one entire night. Yeah. It's classic slasher style. I'm so glad they stuck with true horror and didn't throw any of the cheesy 90s comedy crap like they did with Bride and Seed. There was only, like, one comedy thing, that was what Alice said, which I thought was pretty hilarious. What was it? It was like, Chucky said that life's a bitch and everyone's going to die from it. Yeah, there were funny parts, but it wasn't a horror comedy. It was most it was straight up horror. The only thing I didn't really like about it, the ending was a little weird because Tiffany just pops out out of fucking nowhere, and that's spoilers, by the way. <laughs> I'll put yeah. a spoiler warning before I explain this. But uh, yeah, Tiffany pops up out of nowhere, kills a cop yeah. while he's transferring Chucky to evidence. And which I thought was actually, which gave me a little bright Chucky homage, because it started off with the police, uh, like, like, uh, driving. Yeah, but the, this movie takes place after scene. Yeah, I know. Which is really weird. But, uh, I don't fucking know. After, uh, the credits and everything, there's a scene where Chucky is deliver uh, delivered to... Andy. Uh, yeah, Andy's um, all grown up, played by the same exact guy. That's and everything. that's a. I love it when movie franchises do that. They, whenever they want to bring back the original like main character of the first movie in the series or whatever, they get the actual actor, even though and then he's all grown up and everything. It's so cool. Yeah, and like uh, they did that with. They did that with Toy Story three. They got all the same, mostly all the same actors. And I say mostly because obviously some of them, like Slinky Dog, died. As he's delivered, uh, Andy gets a call from his mom, which I think she may have been thrown out of the penitentiary. But as he's talking with his mom on the phone, Chucky starts cutting himself out of the box. And as he's cutting himself out, it zooms in on the Kent Military Academy. He thing, um, his, his so-called sister from the second movie and him and his mom. And as Chucky, just as soon as he gets out of the box, he turns around and he has a shotgun pointing right at his face with the, with the line just clearly saying, play with this. And yeah, then, that... And then, it, and then there's the end of That's it. a fucking great post credit scene. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, what I was going to say before we went off on the tangent, the only thing I don't... Like I said, I don't... I don't know why Tiffany just appeared randomly with no context at all, but I guess it's whatever. I wonder um, how the we... CGI for Chucky was actually this is kind of hit and miss. When he walked, it looked a little hokey and whatever. But when yeah, especially he... when he's going down the attic staircase. Yeah, when he was talking though, it looked really good. But when he walked and moved around, it looked a little weird. But what? whatever, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's not a big deal. But what? You know. A couple creepy parts. I. I thought it were actually kind of creepy is when whenever Chucky's like not being active, his he has the little happy face, and when he starts going real, he has like the freckles and a, he has a very oh, yeah, and then his eyes get like bloodshot and shit. Yeah, he, no, weird. he actually his face on some scenes has a weird Asian like look to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's because of the bowl haircut. And he tends to squint and like mm. yeah. And I'm sorry if that's racist. <laughs> Yeah. But, uh, anyway, um, well, let's wrap this video up. I guess if you're a fan of the Child's Play series, I think you would really enjoy this movie. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the Child's Play series because, again, uh, Bride and Seed were just a little too stupid for me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I liked bits and parts of them, but Bride and Seed were just not too great. I am, however... Oh, I... he's fucking huge on Child's Play. I am hyped because... Uh, oh yeah, the sequel. Yeah. It's confirmed, and Brad Dourif's returning as the voice of Chucky. I, If you're a fan of the Child's Play series, I would definitely go see it. It's on Netflix it's right on, now. Yeah, check it out. It's on Netflix. Um, if, if you've always wanted to see the Child's Play series but haven't really had the time or never just got into it, definitely start with the first movie and work your way up. Maybe skip... Seed and Bride because they don't really tie into the curse of Chucky at all. Aside the, from the fact that Tiffany's in it. Yeah. But that's about it. Jennifer Tilly is fucking hot. 
and I'll end the video with that. Call me baby girl.